Well, we, we, were, we were not hoping uh, this kind of rapid uh, spread of uh, coronavirus infection, but now it becomes a pandemic. By definition, it's a pandemic, means it's all over the world. And uh, because it's not only uh, by <clears throat> contact with the patient who is suffering or who is having coronavirus, uh, uh, exposing them, yourself to patient, but this is also now community transmission disease. It means uh, a patient who can be a carrier of the coronavirus, who is not suffering from the, any symptoms, and still if you can come in contact with them, and you can, you can get the coronavirus, and that's what happened in, in so many countries, including uh, USA. In Seattle, there were six deaths happened, and all the, those six people, I think majority of them are community uh, acquired coronavirus. So it's really very, very serious uh, situation. And that's why the uh, whole world and all governments are uh, very proactive to fight for this uh, coronavirus uh, pandemic because this pandemic can, can lead to so many inconveniences like closing of the school, closing of the workplace, closing of the restaurant, closing of the airlines and what not. And uh, so, and today even uh, Fed uh, 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 cut the interest at uh, half a percent this morning. That shows that uh, the government uh, worries so much, and they are act, uh, uh, acting right now proactively to to make sure that economy should not tank. Right. And 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 so uh, uh, this is a sad story of the coronavirus, and it's still it's evolving. Mm -hmm. It means we don't know yet so many things which is unknown and hope uh, that um, uh, uh, we can get the vaccine soon and we can get some uh, medication which is uh, uh, which is under the trial right now uh, can be approved uh, by FDA to use for uh, any patients who are suffering from coronavirus. I mean uh, uh, every year uh, as we know that uh, flu virus comes always uh, H1N1 uh, virus comes and pe people do get flu and there also every every year uh, old elderly people and the younger people they they, they get very sick and and there, there are uh, kind of uh, quite a large number of elderly uh, usually um, uh, uh, it becomes uh, fatal for them but uh, this, the difference between uh, that virus uh, or uh, h1n1 virus and coronavirus is uh, we have vaccine for that so uh, we can protect the half of the population and we can we, and we have treatment for that while in coronavirus we do not have vaccine to prevent it neither we have treatment to treat it so and unfortunately the symptoms of coronavirus and symptoms of uh, any cold or flu like symptoms it, they are the same there is no difference so it's uh, challenging for a physician to diagnose or, or, or say that okay every sneezing or every coughing uh, is not coronavirus, but uh, we have to be very careful if a person has been to out of country or came in contact with the people, person who is uh, was out of in, out of country or even uh, those healthcare workers. So we, we healthcare worker has to be very careful, uh, and we have to follow certain precautions in our offices while seeing the patient and while treating the patient. Well, I mean, any patient who suffers from, from cold-like symptoms and run high temperature or high fever and not getting better in two, three days, then they must go and see the healthcare professional. As in allergies, um, see according to you? Well, they should, all, all the allergy and asthma patient, whether it's Indian or non-Indian or, or anyone, Caucasian or non-Caucasian, they all should concern because they are more prone to get uh, any infection. Mm -hmm. and But that not necessarily because even allergy symptoms are mimic like coronavirus symptoms too. Exactly. But that doesn't mean that uh, that's coronavirus because in allergy symptoms usually they don't get temper high temperature, they don't get fever, and they don't, don't, uh, don't feel that sick sick. I mean, they don't get body ache and all those things. So that's a differentiating point. But of course, any, anyone who has cold-like symptoms at this situ in this situation, if it lasts more than a couple of days, they must uh, seek the professional advice. One last question, your message. Well, I mean, I would like to tell my fellow uh, physicians that please do not take uh, this whole situation lightly, even though it's kind of, uh, is the symptoms of cold and cough, 
but you may make sure that uh, you take all the precautions like wearing the mask, asking the patient a proper question, uh, questionnaire, and when you treat the patient, wash your hands frequently, wash your hands with the uh, anti-infective uh, agent, as well as uh, uh, make sure that uh, patient also uh, uh, follow certain instruction. Try not to shake the hand with the people. I mean, though it, it sounds like uh, un uh, American or un-Western thing to do, but that's the best way to uh, prevent uh, uh, contact uh, with the person or viruses uh, if person carries that viruses. So I think um, I'm sure all the physicians will do their best and we, we hope that uh, in USA, coronavirus uh, pandemic uh, sh should not become, uh, I mean, or hopefully will not become that bad and we will pass through this uh, bump.